Hello. In this video we are going to talk about series expansion, differentials and integrals. First let's talk about summation in Maxima. You can do a summation with the command sum in which you input the expression you want to sum over, so let's say this, the variable, the lower limit and the upper limit, something like this. Then it can perform the summation. In Maxima, whenever you want to not execute a command, but just let the notation of it, you can put a single quote before the command. And if I evaluate that, it gives me the notation for the summation. So I'm summing this expression where this variable goes from this uh, lower limit to this upper limit. Now we can do that with um symbols for the upper and lower limits which would uh, it will automatically give this notation because it cannot perform the sum now for products it's something similar you can do the product of uh, this expression and it will show as the product um, symbol here the capital pi for this expression again for this variable going from the lower limit to the upper limit um, we can show some um, simple example which is if I go put the quote here again which is the definition of the factorial so I have the product of this uh, x from 1 to whatever number I want so factorial 5 is 120 of 4, 24, and so on. You can also put uh, for one of the limits uh, infinity, so you can say that this series goes to infinity. And if there is um, a definite value of this series as it goes to infinity, maximum will show it to you. Now, this was more to show the notation of uh, and how a series looks like in Maxima, being it a sum or a product. Now, let's say you want to expand a function in a power series. So, you can use the power series command for which you give the function you want to expand uh, for what variable and around which value. So, let's say I want to expand sine of x around x equals 1. So Maxima will give you the definition of a power series, which is the sum from 0 to infinity of these terms which are related to the uh, partial derivatives. Now let's say you want a truncated series, so you can use either Taylor or Maclaurin series. So again I can use the Taylor command for whatever function I want to expand, for the variable I want to expand uh, around, and for whatever point uh, I want to expand around and for how many terms I want this expansion. So Maxima will calculate this Taylor series for me for sine of x around x equals 1 up to third order terms, so this term here. So if I want to expand up to higher order terms, I'll get this if I want to expand to lower order terms, I'll get this series. If I go back to uh, x around 0, simplify a bit, you remember that the uh, expansion of sine of x only has uh, even terms, so odd terms, sorry. So if I go up to third order terms, see I have nothing in x square, and if I go up to fifth order I don't have anything in x to the fourth either. And if I change the function I'm expanding and go to cosine, you remember that it only has even terms, so I only have x to the second, to the fourth, and so on. Um, I can also expand around x equals pi, for example. It will give me whatever is the um, term that I want. And again, if I go back here to zero, and it, 
it's interesting to use an, another interesting command to use in, in maximize coef which gives you the coefficient of a, a specific term in some expression so if I go and give a name to this say e1 and I want to find the coefficient of x square in e1 it will give me here minus a half which is what is multiplying x square if I go to x to the fourth it gives me here the correct coefficient and if I try x to the third it will say I don't have anything in x to the third so uh, finding coefficients in uh, one expression is uh, something that is very easily done in Maxima as well with the function coef now let's talk about differentials in Maxima you can use the command diff to find a uh, differential. Uh, so, for example, if I want to find the differential of x squared in terms of x, I'll find uh, 2 times x. So, you can use the single quote um, uh, trick again to show that what I'm doing is having the differential of this expression with respect to x. That's what I'm doing here. So if I have a function of more than one variable, this command will actually give me the partial derivative with respect to x of this function, which is um, this part. I can get the partial derivative to y as well. And if I don't specify the variable uh, regarding uh, the differentiation, uh, it will give me the full uh, differential where this uh, term here denotes whatever is the differential of y to the actual variable I'm uh, interested in. So I can plug it in here later if I want. Now if I want to differentiate this other function here with respect to x we see it gives me that and if I want higher order differential so if I want the second order differential I can uh, give it here as the last or the third parameter to the diff function and then it will keep on differentiating to higher terms so again if I use the single quote that is what it is doing getting this function here and getting the third order differential with respect to x. If you want to differentiate a function um, with, uh, with respect to some variable but it's not explicit here that for example x depends on t if I just write it like that maximum will give me zero because it doesn't find anything uh, in t in the function that I uh, wrote here, but if I want to uh, force it to make the notation of this differentiation, I can explicitly say here that x depends on t, so it will give me this. So if I, at some other point I define this function f of t before in my script, then it will plug it in, it in here and will find the correct um, answer I want. And sometimes that is uh, interesting if you want to write um, an equation over an expression. So for example, I know that f is n times a, but I want to write it as the second derivative of x with respect to time. If I do this, it will give me 0. But if I say, look, x depends on t, so it will give me the notation that I am expecting. So as uh, an application of uh, using differentials or derivatives, let's um, try to find the extreme value of a function, in this case it would be a minimum value, and using the definition that it will happen when the derivative is zero. So let's say we have this very simple function here and we want to find where 
it has uh, in this case a minimum value so first thing we compute the differentiate differentiate of this expression with respect to x and if we solve this uh, differential here for x saying when this um, function here is 0 we'll find the point where the original function has a minimum so let's solve for e1d and x I'll give it a name here first solution. So that is the point. This function here has a minimum value. Actually the point where this function here is 0. And we can find the value of the function by evaluating e1 at x equals this point which gives us this. So that's a fairly simple um, example of how to use um, differentials in, in Maxima to solve some problem. Now we can also uh, perform integrals in Maxima with the command integrate. So for that I give the function and I give the variable. If I only give these two inputs to integrate it will, calcula it will calculate the uh, indefinite integral here and I can show some other examples and all and again I can use the uh, single quote trick to show what exactly I'm doing here so I'm integrating this function uh, dx well that's not a very useful example but now you have it you have the notation of what the command integrate is doing if I go on and if I go on to my simpler example and input also the lower limit and the upper limit of this uh, integral it will give me the definite integral which is uh, when I substitute this uh, limits in the previous expression we had so again using the single code command now this is the lower limit this is the upper limit of my integral. So I can obviously integrate whatever function I have and depending on what is the function Maxima can uh, interpret it and show us in a, a simplified expression so integral of 1 over 1 plus x is the log function and I can in, uh, use it in other or with other limits here including symbol uh, limits where I can answer maxima here that this is actually positive and this is negative then it gives me the result in terms of this symbols a and b